Hey everyone, I'm here to talk to you today about June's Polish Pickup. The theme for June's Polish Pickup is cartoons and I feel like that's just like, it's cool. There's so many good, um, like good different inspirations all inspired by cartoons, which is really neat. Um, this will be a pretty brief video as my videos tend to be. So before I get to the swatches, let me give you the details for Polish Pickup this month. Um, the shop opens on Friday the 7th of June at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and will remain open through the weekend through the 10th of June and it usually closes like kind of that Monday evening. So everything will be available at polishpickup.com and anything that I've swatched that has a cap will have, I'll talk about it, you know, while I'm swatching it, if it has a cap or if it doesn't. So wish listings open now. And then they'll probably, they might shut that down before, before everything um, gets going, but you know, wish listings open now. So I'm gonna get straight to the swatches and then I'll talk a little bit more after. First up, we have Gravity Falls by Kathleen and Co. Inspired by the show Gravity Falls, which I've not seen, but um, the maker, she, her niece has watched that show, so she's seen it and um, she wanted to make something for her nieces that they would love. This polish is described as a light orange base and it's loaded with green to blue shimmer. So as per usual, no blurring base on my nails. I'm only going to swatch two for the video and then my final, my final look in the natural light is three coats over my natural nails. Um, the cap on this polish is 500, so there's only 500 bottles, so wish list it if you want. Um, that way, you know, you'll make sure you get it. And also my lighting, as we, as you may know, also skews a little green, so it skews a little warmer than in real life, but you can see the green to blue shift on here. And it's a really pretty polish. It's a very nice flattering orange too, which I like. I'm, I'm a big fan of orange in general. So then, somehow shockingly, the only Avatar The Last Airbender related um, polish for the cartoon themed polish pickup. Um, I also really would love BCB to do an Avatar The Last Airbender collection because she kind of, she just kills it. So like she just does such a great job with the inspo and everything. I mean, I, I'm a big fan. So anyway, this is Yip Yip <laughs> by BCB Lacquers. This is a glow-in-the-dark polish. I do not have video of this glowing because my phone is giving me a really hard time. So I do have pictures of it. It glows orange. It's a really cool polish. So the polish itself, though, is a light sky blue curly, and it has gold to orange glass flakes, black metallic flakes, and obviously that orange glow-in-the-dark pigment. It, I mean... It goes, it goes on beautifully as usual. BCB really knows how to pack the flakies in without it like being too chunky or anything like that. You see I had some focusing issues with my camera. Um, but this is also capped at 500 and this is what it looks like in the daytime. So pretty much what you're gonna be seeing. And then like I said, I do have pictures of this polish glowing orange on my page. And next up, we have See You Space Cowboy by Ethereal Lacquer. They were inspired by uh, Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop. And this polish is so nice. It's I'm kind of liking these like dark vibes that Ethereal has been doing lately. Um, this was an application error on my end. The formula on this is really nice. I did three coats for my final look. As you can see, it's not super sheer. It's just the jelly. So... You know they don't they're not always very opaque on the first swipe um, and this is described as a very dark jewel toned green polish with that purple to red shimmer and jewel tone green is right it's so good um, any of that thickness that you see kind of up at the top is because I didn't wait long enough for my base to dry or like my first light to dry before I filmed the second swatch so you can see it builds up a bit. This is three coats. You still have a little bit of visible nail line. And um, this is capped at 600 bottles. And that's a hard cap. And next up, there is Evolve Today by Bees Knees Lacquer. And this is a really cool polish. 
Um, it is inspired by the little informative cartoons that explain how to use your plasmids from the video game Bioshock. So those little cartoons in game. There's no cap on this polish and it is described as a sheer lime green base with glowy orange micro flake shimmer. And it is, it's sheer. I mean, you can see how sheer it is um, on here. My pictures that I did three coats on, I did not use any blurring base on. Um, and it'll probably build, I mean, it builds up nicely, the, the shimmer in it, like the micro flake does, you know, kind of blur the nail line, but it's a pretty sheer polish overall. It'd probably be a pretty sweet topper though. But this is three coats. You can see it's still some pretty strong visible nail line. So if that bothers you, you'd probably want to do like a blurring base. And then we have this lovely, lovely polish that I fully like cannot pronounce which I hate when this happens because I always want to be that person that looks up pronunciations of things I don't like mispronouncing names um but I I don't know how to pronounce it so um <laughs> so there you go so this is by Emily Damali and this is inspired by Astro Boy and this polish is capped at 320 bottles um, and it's pretty opaque in two coats. I I filmed two coats. You can see that my nail line's pretty blurred. I did three for pictures because it does kind of still have that jelly base. It's a dusty cobalt blue with a subtle pink to green aurora shimmer and green to blue shifting iridescent flakies. And all these Emily Damali upgraded their brushes so they have like really nice new fan brushes on them which makes this a delight. It's a super glowy, glowy blue. I really like it. And next up, we have Courage by Sassy Cats Lacquer. Um, uh, Sassy Cats is super underrated as a brand. And this polish is inspired by Courage the Cowardly Dog. And it's so cute. It's like the perfect color of Courage, if you've ever seen the cartoon. And it is a wine cream base with a violet glowy shimmer. And it's capped at 250 bottles. You can see it's like a little sheer... Um, on that first coat but it builds up really nicely I did end up doing three but it like I said it really does build nicely I don't have a blurring base on like at all and even when I take my pictures I have clear base so so you can really see all the nail line but I feel like with even a slightly blurring, blurring base this is three coats I mean uh, uh, even my aggressive visible nail line isn't so aggressive but next up, we have Atomic Snarf, which the name makes me laugh really hard. This polish almost broke my camera. It's just, you know, neons. Neons are pretty hard to capture, and Atomic does neons so well. Um, and this is inspired by the cartoon Pinky and the Brain, which, um, I mean, if you've seen Pinky and the Brain, you're as old as I am. So... We'll just leave that one there. But as you can see, uh, Narf is a neon hot pink nail polish with Aurora pigment and it shifts from gold to pink. So because it's Aurora, it just kind of shifts, you know, that like nice shifty shimmer and it's opaque in one to two coats. I did two because my nails are longer, but Atomic really has such a great formula in general. I feel like, you know, their polishes are always killer. This is two coats. I only did two coats over my natural nails, and I had I definitely had opacity in in two coats. And it's the brightest pink you'd see. <laughs> and last but not least, this month I have Soulmates by Penelope Luz. This polish is capped at 700 bottles, and it is inspired by characters from um, Card Captor Sakura, which I I'm not familiar with, but this is a beautiful polish. And it's described as a baby blurple, and it has sparkle shifting pigment and hollow flakes and flaky pigment as well. And you can kind of see that there. And it's kind of your, not standard shimmer. I mean, it's very, very beautiful. But it's that shimmer, that shimmer with a little extra in there. So the pink is pretty strong and on that shift. And um, it's really beautiful. Penelope Luz's polishes build really nicely. As you can see, I mean, I have almost almost opacity with like two coats on this. I did do three coats for my pictures and you can see like a tiny bit of visible nail line but nothing too crazy. So that's what I have this month. What did you think? What's on your wish list this month? There's a bunch of really cool stuff on here. I should probably get back to doing like my wish list go through as well because 
I feel like a lot of polish, like I don't get all of the polishes, obviously. Um, there are a lot of creators who do, and there's a bunch of other videos you could definitely watch, but um, I should probably get back to sharing my wish list as well, just to highlight a few polishes that I really like. Um, but I got some really good ones this month. I was, I was supposed to have the Phoenix, um, the Phoenix Indie Polish Psionic, and I really, really wish I had it, but there was like, uh, issues with my because I moved it's just it's been a whole thing so I didn't end up getting it in time for the video um, or for pictures which is a real bummer because it looks gorgeous and knowing Phoenix I'm sure it is but I had a really gorgeous selection this month I'm working with some great makers and let me know if you have any questions about anything about polish pickup itself whatever you've got questions on feel free to drop me a comment and then other than that, I've got pictures of everything up on my Instagram at Polished Bookworm. So I will be back next week to discuss probably Hella Handmade Creations. Definitely we've got some Bees Knees Lacquer coming up. So I'll be back next week to chat a little bit more. Have a good one.